Hey, how you guys doing? I'm going to show you how to control your Xbox with your phone. But you need the Xbox app, this Xbox Smart Glass app. There's an update for the Xbox app if you have it. If you have the original Xbox app. So I'm going to show you how to get it. So first you start to unlock and go to your Xbox. So you see Smart Glass? Alright, then you click on it. Now it's going to load. Oh, and you must have your Xbox started for this, so I'm going to start my Xbox. And my controller. And let me... And you see my Xbox is on. Alright, so it's connecting to Xbox, but yeah. It's a pretty cool, cool app. You could go through your achievements and all that. You got the Bing search bar. It's like here. And, and you can go through your friends, your messages, and your beacon activity. But you can't go through your voice messages. That's the only thing. See, it says voice message here. You can't go through it. You can only hear it through the Xbox. See, if you message on the Xbox. Alright, now my Xbox is loading. And there you go. Oh yeah, Halo 4 came out today. So... That's why this is out. Alright, so this is what you do. It says connect to Xbox, right? Your Xbox must must be on. And you must be signed into your account. So it's just connecting to Xbox. And my last game was Black Ops. And there you go. It says stop new to being connected to Xbox Smart Glass. Alright, so it's connected. And this is iPhone 4S. So, so, yeah, here you got Xbox Smart Glass Remote. Press this to play, and then you can control your Xbox. Like, legitly, right now, without the controller. Like, see, controller, you could control it, like, right here. <coughs> you could do the same thing as your phone. There's no one holding my controller, by the way. I'm the only one in my room. See? Alright, so. Alright. So you see this. If you want to go right, side right. Side right. It will go slow because it's the connection. And if you have a good connection or not. And if you side left. And then if you want to go down, side down. Side down again. And click the, the middle for A. And then, um, side all to the right. I'm going to go search for the impossible game. Oh, yeah, it's not here. I mean, uh, Forza, Forza Horizon uh, demo. I click this. And it goes to the demo. I don't know if you could play games with this, but, yeah, it pretty much works. It's, it's not fake. And, yeah. Uh, so let's see what happens and now you want to go back to the dashboard this is what you do you click this button here and then it should say guide press that and then your guide will show up and then uh, you want to do to get back to the dashboard is pr press the yellow and then side up and press this see my controller is still there And it will go back to the dashboard. <coughs> also, what you can do with this is I don't know what the controller is for, but this is for guide. This is for the browser, and this is for the keyboard. But I'm clicking on the keyboard, but it doesn't work. So, if you want to exit the game, see Black Ops right there. Why? Let me click on it. And it actually comes out. This is a good app. I'll find it for you right now on the App Store. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I know you could do this with iOS.
and this should show up. I got iOS 6, by the way. And, yeah. It's a pretty sick app. I like it. New design, better than the last one. And you could control your Xbox. Pretty sick. So, thanks for watching. I th I'll make a new video. Oh, for sure, I'm making Black Ops 2 videos on the same day it comes out. So, you, you will watch for that. Thanks for watching. Sub, like, and friend me if you want. Later.